guys welcome back to another video you know we are the partners I'm Jaron this is my wife Chevelle um, today's video we're gonna be talking about you know how we survived COVID um, when it all started you know what went on throughout the whole period of you know lockdown in Jamaica and everything and we're gonna just share a little bit of our story how we survive you know and um, things we had to do to survive all right guys so this if this story is something that you're interested just continue watching guys yeah. please remember to like our videos and subscribe and we are on the road to a thousand K subscribers. subscribers so you know nope help us with the so we're on our way to a thousand subscribers yeah. guys thanks for coming back to another one of our video um thanks to all the persons who subscribe guys mm. you have really appreciated been doing a great job at subscribing to the to the channel and we really appreciate that yeah we definitely do um in today's video we're gonna give you a little story time uh, we're telling you about our COVID experience <laughs> and everybody yeah, has experience. their own COVID yeah, experience. Right. Um, but we're not going to start right at COVID. We're going to backtrack to a little bit at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Um, you want to take it away? I could. Well, yes, guys. Um, 2020 was the beginning of the year was a quite a bit of a year. I was on um, ships, I was doing a contract on ships with uh, my band and, and you know, and it was an experience. Um, then coming back home in February, you know, everybody frantic in about the whole COVID, COVID, Corona, Corona. I mean, it was to that point where while we're on ships, they stop selling Corona. That's the beer, Corona beer. They stop selling it, people stop buying it. And it was a bit confusing at first. And you know, cause I mean, we're on the ship. Um, it wasn't so out there too much. And you know, we're just hearing stories every now and then people coming and saying, saying this, saying that, but it wasn't so serious until when we, you know, Friend we got know. to the airport. Oh. And we started seeing people in the mask and them in masks, them in gloves, you know, and people just keeping to themselves, you know, social distancing from early. And mind and you, at that time in Jamaica, we weren't wearing masks yet. No, we never started wearing masks. We mask weren't wearing masks or yet. anything. We were life as usual. Yes, guys. So, you know, um, when we go at the airport, I mean... We see people in masks, people in gloves, and then we ask our boy, this some um, this look this look away, you know. But still never think anything of it, you know. We come back to we go back to Jamaica and you know, life was like the total opposite of what we see in the United States, you know. And we were like, okay, COVID nineteen, you know, coronavirus, yeah just one of them things they're back in at that side of the world and then now you know we carry on with life and especially um, how it wasn't um it wasn't like it was way in china because that's how yeah. i was looking at it coronavirus break out in china boo -hoo. china is so far so from far us from so us, yeah i don't i didn't see what the rave was about exactly and i mean as i say we come back everybody doing their own thing um Chavel and I, you know, going through some business ideas and at the time we have a a, a portion of money saved. I was say right, we want to invest and stuff. So you know, we were going through some ideas, trying some trying to think about some, you know, opportunities or to invest to flip and stuff that and money, flip yeah. the money. So we then now come up with the idea so we we got to open a shop, like a restaurant and stuff and we went forward with it. With but little did we know that yeah, COVID yeah, was coming yeah. to wreak havoc. And we, the, the shop 
open like I think the same week. It was the so, same week when we, Jamaica start closing borders. So um, I, it was a little. So we we opened the shop in February after because he came back in February. Oh, yeah. yeah. So after he came back, we decided that all right, we want to do a business, and we decided that they sh a cook shop would have been like oh, the yeah, best venture right. with what we had. So we pull, we take the money we have, and we, we we shop, we buy stove, and we buy things to stop buy the shop. No, no, remember when we buy the fridge? The fridge that we oh, yeah, had yeah. at home. Yeah, we take, we the fridge take that fridge from home and decide so we're gonna put it to the shop. Yeah. So now we are without a fridge now. We don't have a fridge. So we give the, we send the fridge to the shop because guess what? The shop is gonna make us some money. So we're going to invest right. in the shop. So we, we send the fridge and everything. We ended up after about couple of, about two or so weeks. I mean, it's a new business, people supported and, you know, things were happening. But it's new, so it wasn't happening yeah, like this. That fast. So, whatever we had, we, we put into the shop. And then, I was at school, because I'm a, I'm a teacher. And at the time, I was teaching at Hague. Mind you, I was teaching, but I was being paid a pre-trained teacher salary. Due to reasons so yes i was being paid a pre-trained teacher salary so whatever we had we put it into the shop at school now i was at school march i can't remember the date i think it was a, a sometime after the fifth because remember i was supposed to do the disney trip oh, and man. i remember i went to the embassy i think the fifth of march or something like that i went to the embassy and then the following week a couple days later at school, the, that's when this the scare about COVID started and they were saying that they were going to have to close schools and they were going to have to do this and we are going to have to go home. Now, <laughs> initially, I was excited, I'm not going to lie, because it was, to me, it was like we're going to be home for a week, a break from being in the classroom and, you know, you can rest and come back. Everything go back to normal. Right. But then they said we were going to be out for two weeks. We were out for two weeks. And then two months. And then it was like... Just extending, extending. What is happening? And then... We went to where the shop was. And we were down there. And we, we, we got a glimpse of the news. And they were saying that... Um, the Prime Minister was saying that... They think they're going to have to um, start a calm curfew and they bought the checks and all sorts of stuff and i was like okay then by this you now we started hearing of cases and then in jamaica it, it went like you hear of one person catching covid and two person then they realized the numbers started going up and up and up and up and it it just became a whole ordeal like I was just alright, cop done. I mean, I was excited about the break, but now I'm just frustrated. Like, what is happening? What is happening? Man. And then we were out of school now. Um, because of all that was happening, the borders being closed and all of that. No. John is a musician. No, that that's that was his job in Jamaica. He was while he was back on the cruise ship. That's what he did. If the borders are closed, it means no, that entertainment. the hotels don't need any entertainment. So therefore, there's no yeah, job. So, um, then now, you know, as Chavez said, hotels close, you know. Numbers start go down. Numbers start go down because a lot of who was, you know, there, they there start, to start leave. leaving, going back home and so before the borders close and you know we stop get cars to go work and you know and then that's when the hard part kicks in you know whatever money i brought back and we had because we had a little bit after we opened the shop and stuff you know and we managed to pay the first month bills rent everything 
pay the first month bills and you know we there and we say boy this look away because her salary can barely manage and then with me without a salary now it's like you know what we going to do now and guys trust me i mean we are we are um we have religious background um we believe in a god a god we believe in nobody else and you know it's it's always been a thing between us where i mean we worry a little bit but then life always just like, like so things just always work out like i just last night message to shop like you ever notice ever since we start talk we never fall in a point where we 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 either say we we stuck financially and can't move there is always something where or somebody you know and it's, you know, it's part the, of it's part of the kind of people that we are exactly and we we exactly. don't wait for things to happen for we us we try if we make a exactly. headway we try to figure something out exactly. um um i'm a I love to make charts. That's what I that I had a little business up doing that in Jamaica. So I would make um charts like that that's teaching aids for teachers and stuff like that. So that was one of the things that I used at the time because by now we had started online teaching mm -hmm. and that is not you, nobody needs charts anymore. Right? And then I had a few a few um teacher friends that were teaching at like prep schools. Some of them were going and there was this one person in particular, Terry, if you ever see this wig of yourself, she would always call me and say, I'm shovel me need one chart, we need to make this to me. And that was a way how we kind of balance ourselves as well. Guys, way. you know me if you cut the guys mark you. Even throughout um school being closed and the whole lockdown thing, Terry was still asking for charts. <laughs> she just just have the hopes that school go home. Yeah, she, she still, made charts. She still want charts made. Like, right. Every week she said, all right, she need this type of chart. That type and of then chart. she was going to school at some point, you know, cause, because yeah, it's a prep right. school. Mm -hmm. She was, yeah, she was going to yeah. school. So she would call everyone and say, you know, make this to me. And that would be like a little revenue coming in. But was that going to cut it? No, nah, because it didn't. <laughs> it didn't. And guys, trust me. I mean, this was a real test of faith for us. But I mean, as I said, we never really, even though we worry, worrying wasn't somewhere, you know, some people yeah. say, boy, I'm stressed out because I'm not going pay my rent or boy, um, yeah. JPS or cut off my light or nothing like that. Because we never <laughs> worry our friend, you know. Whatever money, because I am I'm a teacher, so I'm still being paid. Yes. Um, we're doing online school, we're doing packets and everything. I'm still being paid, but because of the fact that I'm being paid a pre-trained salary at the time, then it can only cover so much and no more. Those who are teachers, they'll know that this is a salary of bare minimum. But what we ensured, whenever salary come, the rent comes out first mm -hmm. because we got to live somewhere. That's right. The bills are taken care of. So yes, whatever yes. is left, we buy of what food if we can buy with it and we're moving right along and people never people couldn't nobody could tell that it was no. this you know mm -hmm. because we just as you see me right now with my face just bright that's how it always is oh, and yes. he sports the same so because you know, guys i mean you know me if you cut about guys whoever know me can tell them if me need a hundred dollar now you're not gonna know <laughs> because it, it's not pride, but I'm the type of person where I make I want to make do what she say, or I try to see what I can do to work my way out, mm -hmm. you know. And so, a lot of people didn't know we in that situation <laughs> and stuff. But the main thing that relieve us of, you know, not having funds was in the midst of not having money we decided to say, all right the place locked down i could buy one um one load the board 
And we yeah. can, you know, have fun at the house, play the games, <laughs> entertain ourselves, whatever, whatnot. And all the board is like... Because we didn't even time, have internet at the we time. We tried the getting time. the internet. Because of where we live at the time. Yeah, it was so hard to get it. So we said, And then right. we had just moved to... Because where we were living before, we had the internet. No problem. Everything was good. But then we said, all right, we need to... Because you know, of space, relocate we moved. And because of space. Anyway, we never have no internet. So we said, all right, we need something to entertain ourselves. <laughs> at the time, we were living in Falmouth. So, you know, we go in Falmouth town one of the days and... You know, on our way home, after shopping and stuff, I see a guy selling load board. So I say, Shaf, you know, see load board there and whatever. And she said, all right, I could stop and see how much one of them. And we pull up. And I say, you know, how much one of the load board and thing? And the bridge say, you know, say, four or five. No, $4,500 for like a two by two, two feet by two feet load board. Two feet by two feet, I don't know how much. Four thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> that was a shot. Right. You know, Mr. All right, me link your back. Cause I might think that me not, I don't like to tell, I don't like to, you know, challenge anybody and their their price, their price or anything. Mm-hmm. So Mr. All right, you know, me circle back, which me know me now go circle back. Cause four thousand five hundred dollars. Four thousand five, <laughs> and we already. Yeah. You know, so we said the shop while me a drive ago. Me say you know something can build a load of board. That and <laughs> she has said, hey, so why go and take for it, make a load of board? And I said, I mean, if you just find a piece of board or something. And we make the first load of board. You have a picture of it? I, I think, should have a picture. I think I have a picture. If we have a picture, go ahead. You should have a picture. It. But the first load of board. The first load of board we make. <laughs> For we make the first load of board, I mean there's no borders or anything and we play and we have fun. And then now we start while we think enough means to, you know, make money and Chavez say, Boy load the board look nice, what make you know? <laughs> we can make someone sell them. Why not? I and mean one board is for four thousand five hundred dollars. What does it take? Cause that's me. What does it take for us to make, to make one? It. What does it take? What we need to make it? And it it, it, it wasn't all that. It takes because time. It, it, we made a few boys, and it just show yeah. how God worked. Because it, remember, you know, we wanted a loody board to entertain ourselves. And uh, ending you know, up making loody no, board in that team. That loody board. <laughs> We never, we didn't use it much because the time we had on our hand now, we that used that time <laughs> to make loody boards. And saying that now, right. God just work out that and make it a way to bring revenue in again. God mm-hmm. didn't just work it out and him say, right, loody board, you know what? Loody board, may I give you know, go and make some. <laughs> so he just worked it out for us to think we wanted it to play, to entertain ourselves, but Basically, he was just setting up like a way, like a part. If he say yes, go and go make some money because he knew we needed it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so um, that was that was one of the ways that we 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 turned and made ourselves comfortable. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. when we say um, it was a hard time, but it didn't seem hard because no. we tried, we found we found ways because. By the time we started selling the loading boards, the the curfew hours were like, I'm sorry, the curfew hours were like, like six no, it was early. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, was because, early time. You couldn't, because I remember that the shop now had, had to, to be close. closed. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's and right. then, and it, then now, I mean, we know the shop was there. We never did rely upon the shop for giving dollar. No. Because we know it, it wasn't it getting enough it, traction. It was, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we, we said, boy, whatever the shop make is for the shop. That right. has to replenish the shop. So and guys, it was that. not much. It reached to a point where when um cooking the food, just cook a little bit and pray to God, yeah. said a little bit. So Se- and when they, they start, the curfew all started. We were still, because the shop was a rented, it was rented. Mm-hmm. So whatever money the shop made, it had to be used to pay the rent. And it wasn't making anything, but I, we, we held on because we were saying, all right, COVID soon passed in nine day year forever. 
So by the time, let us keep it going so that by the time COVID should pass, we still have something there we can work with and build mm -hmm. on. Yes, Little sir. did we know that COVID would still be here 2022, 2023 going on. Man. So Fast track to about when? Ma April? May? May, yes. May. Because, um, remember I said I went to the embassy in March. I, w I went to the embassy for a Disney trip. So I was supposed to go on a Disney trip. It was supposed to be the, the late April. I think it was supposed to be. So because of COVID, that didn't happen. I had paid for the trip already. Man, so much money. God working. What's the visa? The visa money we didn't get back, but the money that I had already paid now for the trip, it was given back to me now. So we again we get a little push off again, again. With, with some money. With some so we say, Alright, remember at the beginning we gave the fridge to the shop. So we still it is now March it is now May. We don't have no fridge. So we can't, we cannot, if we even go to the supermarket, yeah, we can't buy them. meat. Hmm? We, don't we can't yeah. buy meat because there is no we have to put buy, it. We have to buy and cook, buy and cook. Right. So when they gave me back the money, I didn't want to use all of the money. We know, I know we needed the fridge. And by this time now, I started seeing the the, the rainforest ads oh, and yes. the CPJ ads. That's the one those in Jamaica, those who know, know. So I said, all right, we're going to go buy. Because they had deals that were very cheap. So I said, all right, we're going to buy some of the things that we have to have somewhere to put it. So we said, all right, we're going to go to court. Yeah, so we're going to court it. We said, we're going to go on one of the Indian them go look. Oh, rich. yeah, because we're not, we're not normally yeah, shop on board. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we said, we're going to get one. When we went in there, they were, the prices were... I mean, fair, but still out of budget out of for budget us. Really. So I was, one day I was at school. Because so, remember, I have to go to the school to get internet, to do the online school. And there were other persons there. The office was open, so people were there. And one day I was talking to, I think it was Miss Sharon. Mm. And I was talking to her and, and I tell her, I say, Miss Sharon, I need a fridge. I need a fridge. And, you know, we were just having a small talk. And she said, she said, it's fun now. Why well, not of course because sometimes they have fridge on there where they give what they take back from people. That's <laughs> really <laughs> nice and we need the fridge. And we were there. We were in Falmouth one day and we said couldn't hurt to go check. And she had told me the name of the gentleman mm -hmm. and say, Alright, when you go, ask this person so. Remembered. And I asked somebody in there if there is a gentleman here by the name of so and so and she pointed me to him, so I went to him and I, 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 I told him what um, the lady told me. And he instructed me on what to do. And mm -hmm. I, I, I went and I spoke to one of the sales rep and she, um, she told me that there was one for what, $35,000? And guys, if, you would think that it was, was going to be a, a shabby, something. shabby fridge. <laughs> but I kid you not. The fridge look brand new. We finally, we got the fridge. Brand new. We got, yeah. Brand new fridge. So now, we are ready to take on a new venture. Mm -hmm. We are ready to, because we have <laughs> to survive. So, something has to happen. But guess what, guys? I guess that part of the story is going to come in the next part. And this is the juicy part. <laughs> We're going to give you that part of... This story because we don't want to make the video too long and yes, overbearing, sir. so just stay tuned for what we did next.